Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ah. and let's have this problem. So to evaluate the given, so take note that sine theta plus sine theta plus 180 degrees, this one is equal to 0. So using this equation and from this given, so observe in the given, the interval is 30 degrees. So, if we have this sine 30 degrees plus using this equation, the theta plus 180 degrees, so 30 plus 180 degrees, that's 210. So, sine 30 degrees plus sine 210 degrees, this one is equal to 0. Then, for sine 60 degrees plus, so 60 plus 180 that's 240 degrees. So this one is equal to 0. Then for sine 90 degrees, so 90 plus 180, that's sine 270 degrees, that's equal to 0. Then 90 plus 30, that's sine 120 degrees. And 120 plus this 180 degrees, that's sine 300 degrees. This one is also equal to 0. Then we have sine 150 degrees plus sine 330 degrees. So that's equal to 0. So 150 plus 30, that's sine 180 degrees. So again, the interval is 30 degrees. So sine 180 degrees plus sine 360 degrees, that's equal to 0. Then 180 plus 30, that's 210. Since we already have this 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and 360 degrees. So therefore, the remaining angles, so 360 plus 30, that's 390 degrees. Then 390 plus 30, that's 420 degrees. Then we have sine 450 degrees, sine 480 degrees, sine 510, and the last one, sine 540 degrees. So these are the remaining angles. So for these remaining angles, we need to find first the coterminal angle and the reference angle. So, to find for this coterminal angle, we just need to subtract 360 degrees from this angle. So, 390 degrees minus 360 degrees, that's 30 degrees. And since 30 degrees is in quadrant 1, so therefore, the reference angle is equal to the coterminal angle. Then for this 420 degrees, so 420 minus 360 degrees, so we have 420 minus 360 to find this coterminal angle, so that's 60 degrees. So we have 60 degrees, and since 60 degrees is in quadrant 1, so therefore, the reference angle is also 60 degrees. Then for this 450 degrees, so 450 minus 360, that's 90 degrees. So the coterminal angle is 90 degrees, but since 90 degrees is a quadrantal angle, so therefore there is no reference angle. So for this 480 degrees, so 480 minus 360, that's 120 degrees. Then since 120 degrees is in quadrant 2, so to find the reference angle, if the coterminal angle is in quadrant 2, so using this formula that 180 degrees minus angle theta. So we have 
180 degrees minus so theta is 120 degrees so therefore the reference angle is 60 degrees so we have 60 degrees for the reference angle and for this 510 degrees so 510 minus 360 that's 150 degrees so the coterminal angle is 150 degrees and 150 is in quadrant 2 so to find the reference angle since quadrant 2 so the same formula so 180 minus this 150 degrees so 180 minus 150 so the reference angle is 30 degrees and the last one the 540 degrees so 540 minus 360 that's 180 degrees so the coterminal angle is 180 degrees and 180 is also a quadrantal angle so using this coterminal angle and the reference angle to find the sum so observe in the reference angle we have this 30 degrees and 60 degrees so therefore we can use this special triangle so for sine 30 degrees that's equal to 1 over 2 and for sine 60 degrees that's equal to square root of 3 over 2 so therefore this 30 degrees is equal to 1 over 2 60 degrees that's square root of 3 over 2 this is square root of 3 over 2 and 30 degrees that's 1 over 2 and for this 90 degrees so to find the value of sine 90 degrees so we have sine 90 degrees that's equal to 1 so sine 90 degrees is equal to 1 and sine 180 degrees so sine 180 degrees that's equal to 0 so this one is equal to 0 so to find out the sum of these numbers so we have 1 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 plus 1 plus square root of 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 0 then combine like terms so let's start with this 1 half plus 1 half so 1 half plus 1 half this one is equal to 1 then plus this square root of 3 over 2 plus square root of 3 over 2 so in this case we just need to add the numbers outside so we have 1 plus 1 that's 2 then square root of 3 then over 2 then plus this 1 plus 0 that's equal to 1 then simplify so 1 plus 1 this one is 2 then plus so in this case we can cancel this 2 so we have now square root of 3 so therefore the sum is 2 plus square root of 3